and welcome links here and of course we are continuing tied by numbers let us find out if she listens to my voice which is the correct voice and did not allow those others into her house actually into her parents house she technically does not own her own house right anyway the week soon came to an end it was slumber party time my parents left for a trip right after lunch and I had to start preparing everything. <sighs> I guess... Yeah... My music teacher had to leave class because of the family emergency, which was unfortunate for her. But for me, it was an opportunity to go home early and get to do some house cleaning so I could impress the girls, which we shouldn't care about because they are trash. I got right from Alex and... What? How do they have license? Oh my god, why am I even thinking they need a license? I mean, they are trash. So. Uh, and she offered to help me with the house chores. We dropped our school stuff in my room, but we didn't bother taking off our uniforms since we would have time to change after we finished. <sighs> I don't like her. Probably because she wants to, you know, be friends with that older three, which are garbage, so, you know, that kind of automatically does make her like that as well, kind of, so, uh, yeah, anyway. And she's way too pushy, like, oh, you have your house empty, your parents are around, we are getting in. I don't like people like that. Anyway, we're so lucky your parents aren't here this weekend. Are we for... Do you think we could hold this party for two days straight? Kick her out, please. One day is better than nothing. My parents will be back tomorrow in the evening. I wouldn't have time to set everything in place, especially since I know how sloppy you are. <laughs> Calling me out like that, so rude. I heard footsteps coming from upstairs. When I turned my head up to face it, I saw Amber leaned over, staring at me. Andy, are you cleaning the house so early? Why aren't you at school? Uh, wh what is this bitch uh, like, like, you know, crossed about? Actually, why are you crossed as well? What the hell? I skipped it today. Our parents won't even know, so no harm in skipping some boring classes. Yeah, pre pretend you are cool. And you know, our parents won't be home till tomorrow afternoon, so come join me and become a neat. Oh. Uh, Oh, oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Why aren't you at school? This. Uh, okay. Anyway. So come join me and become a need, or we could throw a party tonight. Endless possibilities. At that time, Amber noticed Alex was with me in the kitchen. She stared at me with a curious expression. Don't tell me you are throwing a party today. Uh, sort of. It's not like a big party on the thing, just a private party. Amber seemed upset with our answer. She walked downstairs slowly and stood by my side. <sighs> hey, I'll help you to clean the house then. We don't our guests to think we're slugs or anything. She teased as she caught the dearest broom. You were telling me about your neat lifestyle just a minute ago. It was before I knew people would come. I changed my mind. I'm a new person now. 100% in favor of house labor. Thanks, Embe. Yeah, thanks for the help. And then you will kick her out, right? Oh my. <sighs> my blood is boiling. You know, now that I think about it, I would like to say five, but. That one is kind of... we don't know. There are four characters which already pissed me off. <laughs> one of them is main character. <laughs> what the hell? This game can be like, tied by numbers, subtitle. Probably all characters will be really disliked by links. <laughs> 
<sighs> and I don't mean it in a way that, you know, it's badly written or anything. I just don't like their characters <laughs> so much. <laughs> it pisses me off. They are standing for everything I hate. Oh my god. Anyway. Alex and I looked at each other. We knew one of us would have to lumber, she wouldn't be able to join us later. <laughs> because for some reason you want to mingle with trash. Right. With cheating trash. Uh, and so on and so on. Anyway. But wait, who's coming? Ah, it's just some of Alex's friends. It won't be a big deal. Oh, can I join then? Perhaps I won't bother you. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can. I'm sure Alex wouldn't mind. <laughs> what am I saying? Alex will kill me. Who cares about Alex? Oh, cool. I'm sure you wouldn't mind. It's okay. It's a big house after all. Plenty of space for one more person to join us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad the choices are in my hands. On the other hand, I would like Amber to not be around uh, because something bad might happen to her, right? I would like to cancel the party all in all. That would be the best option. I would like to not mingle with those three. Anyway. So, what kind of party is it going to be? A slumber party. I'm pretty sure it won't be as interesting as you are imagining it. Yeah, I mean, you will be there, Alex will be there. Of course it won't be interesting. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, yeah, boring slumber parties. Oh, -ho -ho, I can't wait to see Alex in a pillow fight. She used to be a killer in the wrestling years. I wonder why you left at him. Oh, you've seen her compete? I didn't know that. He? I didn't know you so, so in my golden years. That's all Alex needed to be convinced that to let Amber join us. She loved when people would inflate her ego. I used to go watch the... <clears throat> I used to watch... I used to go watch wrestling competitions in my old school that I've seen her wrestling against some of my old classmates during these years. Oh, so you're a fan! And they bring me a pen, I'll give this girl an autograph. Or oh, you girls can take a selfie with me, it would be better! We took more than just a selfie as we cleaned the house, Amber would take Goofy pictures of us saying she would sell them on the internet once we were famous. Except you won't be. We had another great time and by now, I was convinced Amper wasn't as bad as she seemed to be. I mean Amber is not... Amber is the best of the bunch. What the hell? Come on, she's good. She's the hero of this car of this story. The fact that she revealed all the garbage that the other three were doing, great. Anyway, but the time of the party was getting closer. I still need to think of what to do, so I ended up asking Amber to buy some groceries at the store. At least while she was out, she wouldn't meet the A plus girls right away. Sure, I'll get us some snacks. We aren't on a diet or anything. So I can go over the board with a number of calories. After saying that, she waves me and Alex goodbye and grabs her wallet before heading out as cheerful as ever. As the sun went down, Amanda drove the A plus girls to my house. The first to step at my door was Alice. She was holding a medium-sized bag where she had placed her pajamas and some skincare products. Right after was Anne-Marie. She didn't bring as much stuff as Alice, but her backpack still seemed too heavy for a frail body to carry. 
<sighs> Do you need help? Anamari, Anna the trash, that is Cheatsy trash, by the way. Goddamn cheater. Uh, should be burning in hell if hell exists. Anyway, gave me a cold stare. She didn't seem to be happy to be here. Yeah, I'm not too so as well. I would like uh, her to go away. But she reluctantly accepted my aid. Not respectfully, she simply tossed her backpack at me and ran after Alice. I don't even remember which one is Alice. I held before... Was it the first one? The smoking one? I don't like her already because of that. My struggle to carry it attracted the eyes of Alex, who came to my rescue once again. At this point I was wondering if she was some sort of personal guardian. <laughs> hey! Sophie. Sophie. Who was Sophie? Let's be good those, okay? Thanks, Alex. Oh, it's a mess up in the box, okay. I don't see Amber around. Do you think she will take longer to come back? I hope so. Ugh. We just need to keep her away during the party, right? She isn't here now, but it's her house too, so I'm sure she will show up later. I have a bad feeling about this. Alex was brought down by my reply, but it wasn't like she gave me an easy task. Well, we'll figure something out. Just thank you for doing this for me. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have a chance to be... I wouldn't have a chance to be someone otherwise. Huh? The fuck are you talking about? Her comment made me want to throw up, to be fair. I was happy to help her feel more comfortable with who she is. What? What? We've been friends for a long time and Alex always stood up for me. So it meant a lot that I got to retribute the kindness somehow. What? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Come on, I want to be part of the fun too. <laughs> Just discussing something about party. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you know I was checking my WhatsApp yesterday and my viewers were mentioning a game called Number Neighbor. Number Neighbor. I was thinking about doing it to party so I can talk about it in my next vlog. Never heard of it. Of course not, you live in a bubble. Ho 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 ho! This is a big trend. We should totally do it. I have no idea what they are talking about. It's a harmless game. I'll explain how it works once we are all settled. Amanda entered the house and joined her friends, leaving us by ourselves once again. Yay! We'll be on Amanda Snake's vlog! That's so cool! Oh my god! That's so not cool. <laughs> uh, Lex places Almari's backpack on the floor just so she can shake me in excitement. Really? People do that because of that? Sweet, now you can release me so I can go serve our guests. <laughs> aye aye, Captain! I give her last nudge before rushing back inside to start my duties as host. And there they were, the A plus squad. They were very intimidating once you get a closer look. Alice was sitting on my stepfather's favorite chair, while Anne Marie and Amanda were looking at the fridge. Is there any alcohol here? I didn't prepare anything like that, but we have soda in the bottom row, right behind the milk bottle, which would be good for you, I bet. I wasn't used to having people at my house beside Alex, so I won't lie, it was... I was kind of nervous. Is the problem if I hate one of my playlists to shake things up? No piggy, go ahead. Okay, okay. This is pretty good. Also, she is the one that I don't hate yet. But we'll find out eventually, right? She was just throwing parties in school. So, whatever. 
This is a good bop. For some reason, Amanda chose some loud experimental music to play. I actually like this one than the previous one that was playing. <laughs> uh, I have no words to describe it. It was just the complete opposite of what I thought these girls would listen to. They were dropping their accent. It was an interesting thing to see. What do you mean it was opposite of what you thought? What? No drinks, no songs. Was there anything you had in mind to entertain us? I suppose you never hosted a party before, huh? And he has a pool! Let's go for the swing while she cooks something for us! Huh? Cook? That sounds good to me. Just keep that loud music away from me, Amanda. I don't want to have a headache by the end of the day. Aye aye. I'll trouble Andy with my questionable taste then. I mean, tasty music aside, her taste is questionable in friends she wants to be with. Ah, the others went to the pool while I was left in the kitchen. How do you not see that you are being used? Like, well, the Amanda, I mean, on the other hand, yeah, if you are, ah, it's at your place, you should prepare something, that's true, but it's not like you wanted to organize it yourself as well. Ah, whatever. Well, Amanda was too focused on feeling the vibe to come to give me a hand. I was looking for some snacks at the cabinets when I noticed something at the window behind me. So they were your guests! I can explain. You better have a good reason to bring them to my house. Look, you have all rights to be mad at me, but please let's talk about this later. I don't want any more drama involving you and them. I'm not staying outside all night because of them. You better find a way to fix this. Well, they are at the pool right now. I think we'll go upstairs and they won't notice you. Fine, just don't forget about your poor little sister. I want some of the good stuff too. She pointed a box of cookies that were over the table. She entered the house from the kitchen's door, dropping some groceries on the table. Then she quietly walked upstairs and went to her room. I was... Surprised at how well Amber was accepting everything. Was she, was she for? It all seemed too good to be true. Because she wasn't. <sighs> for fuck's sake. <sighs> stay calm, stay calm. Stay calm. I finished cooking and the girls left the pool. Everything was going well. I was having a good time with them. Amanda turned out to be good at making jokes and lighting the mood, I think out of them, she was the more friendly one. And she liked me and Alex too. Did she fall? Okay girls, time for some games! <laughs> anyway, there she goes. Look, I won't do anything stupid just so you can expose me on their website. What do you think I am? Who do you think I am, Amber? Speaking of her, Amanda so she her, saw her saw her heading upstairs, so she won't be meeting us then. Yeah, she won't. Don't worry. That's a shame. I would love to play some true for dare with her. Yeah, go her. Let's all have some fun together. I didn't like the idea. It was clear they were still mad at her about the post. This was a party, not a battle arena. Nah. I think it's better this way. Too late, Amar emerged out of nowhere. Turns out she was spying on us, just waiting for an opportunity to come and solve her problems with the A plus squad, also known as garbage. I could see the tension coming from all of them, but especially from Alice. She had fire coming from her eyes. So you decided to sh <laughs> No. <laughs> So you decided to show up. I suppose you heard on Mari's request. Which one was Alice? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> was she on the left? Hmm. 
what you were the type to hide behind your phone. It's easier, right, to talk shit about others when you have screen protecting you. Uh, you know that very well. Don't be a hypocrite. I was just doing what you three did to me. Hehe, <laughs> retaliation is never good. Oh, uh, shut up, Alex. She said that me. She wanted me to pick sides, maybe block her up. But should I just be against my sister? Fuck no. Come on. <laughs> I mean, okay, so this was revenge for. This was revenge for something. I I wonder what exactly. We don't really know. Uh, but given that I do not know that. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Both of those options are like against Amber. What the fuck? I don't want any of those. Where is the third choice? Fuck you, A-Squad. Where is that choice? <sighs> A piece, whatever. We'll see. Gosh, let's not argue today. This also her house, so she's in here just to target you. What is done is done, but let's take this time to reconcile and forget our problems for now. S okay. I agree with Safira. Who's <laughs> Safira? We can tear our heads later. Let's just chill for tonight and play some games. Okay, so she's like the most normal in the end, really. I was so correct about in the beginning. For then again, maybe there is a demon inside of her. Amada was so different from the other girls. Even if Amber spread those rumors about her, which were true, she didn't seem to have a grudge against her. She was so forgiving around there. Why she was friends with the other two? Yeah, why are you friends with her? Alright, all this stress will make me grey anyway. I'm open to giving her the benefit of the top. Let's declare this place a neutral zone. Amber gave me a weak smile and moved to the chair that was placed away from the couch. She had a safe space between her and the other girls. And she also could count on me in case this went in a bad way. Could she count on you for? Could she? Could she? We played some games like Truth or Dare, Pillow Fights and some other dumb stuff teens do at slumber parties. Amber didn't participate, she decided to just observe us from afar. I was okay with that, I preferred not having any conflicts today. Time went by and it was already midnight, we were all tired and ready to sleep when Amanda pulled her phone from under a pillow and shouts. We can sleep yet, we're to the number neighbor thing! Oh, Amada, we can do it some other time. I'm sleepy. If it's quick, I can participate. Fine. Fuck you, are fucking god damn it. She's like two times the size of the others. This night is young. The night is young. I can stay awake till morning if needed. Remember how I think. Amber said that nobody's on a strict diet. Alex needs to go on a diet. <laughs> Anywho. Safira, what about you? Who's Safira? Why not? We're all awake either way. Alright, alright, I'll join. Don't wanna be killed anyway. We sat in a circle, our phones were in front of us. Amada started to explain the rules, and I noticed Amber was also paying attention to it. It's a simple game. You just have to grab your phone number and change only the last digit to be a number up or down. For example, my phone number is finished with 7, so my number neighbors are the same number, but with the last digit being 6 or 8. What? That's pretty simple. Some chili. And what do to do our num? And what do we have to do to our number neighbors? Call them. Who? People usually send text messages, but I think calling would be more exciting. 
I'm always up for a good prank after all. Fine, I'll go fast. Alice called the number both hers. It took a while to get the answer. We're almost giving up when we heard a woman's voice on the phone. Who is it? She sounded annoyed. Okay. Who is it? <laughs> she sounded annoyed. After all, we probably woke her up. Hi. This is your number, neighbor. I could notice Alice wasn't enjoying this game. She'd always been typed to be cold and rational. So I'm... Was she? I mean, she was doing drugs. Was she really rational and cold? Cold maybe, but rational, really? So I'm sure in her mind she agreed with Anne-Marie when saying this game was silly. I don't want to buy anything! Have a nice day! The woman sounded sleepy and hung up right after saying that. We laughed a bit because it was so funny as you can hear from my voice. I laughed so hard as well, but I felt bad for the woman, who lost her precious minutes of sleep just once for us. One by one, we called our number neighbors. Amadas was a boy our age that studied in a school located at the south area from the city. Whose? Amanda. Which one was Amanda? Amanda was the blondie, right? Uh, well, if it was uh, the cheating one, she probably would cheat with him again. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a boyfriend. <laughs> anyway, Anne Marie was an old lady that had trouble sleeping and owned too many cats. Oh boy. Alex's neighbors didn't answer the call and mine turned out to be one of our teachers who scolded me for calling her late that night. What are the odds of that happening? Amanda took notes of all the stories so she could talk about them later on her vlog. She was so focused on her phone and typing so fast it was a pleasant feeling to see her being so passionate about her website. Really? I'm sad that I'm only the only one who doesn't have a number neighbor. I mean, maybe you took, like, both spots. Ugh, I'm sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> ah, come on. I mean, she really like two sizes of the other girls. Three sizes of the cheating one, even, maybe. It's nothing big, we all have pretty boring number neighbors, except for Amanda, who probably got a hot guy. Yeah, right, right, sure. Still, I wish I had someone to call. It could be a chance to make a new friend. We could check mine. Alex stared at Amber, who was sitting in the corner of the room. She was holding her new phone and pointing it to Alex. If someone else was, I'll pass the phone to you and you can chat with them. Is it even load? Well, Amanda won't write about you on her website then. It wasn't hard to guess what could be used to manipulate Alex. Yeah, she would be used. To, she would. She's easy to manipulate now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, the number did that perfectly. To be fair, she got us all curious to know what, who her number neighbor was. It's not like we're being serious about this game. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Call them, please. Amber dialed the lower number, but we didn't get an answer. Oh, it's getting late. I think we should give up on trying. We still have one more chance. Wow, she's so desperate. Holy crap. That's so pathetic. <sighs> Amber was going to call the number above hers. She chuckled a bit as she saw the last number combination. Let me guess. It starts with a six, and the last number is nine. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no! Spooky. Their number ends with a six, six, six. Okay, let's call. Let's see what's gonna happen. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get something spooky. No time for jokes like that, Amber. It's late at night already. <laughs> Is it 3 a.m. already? It's actually 20 minutes after 3 a.m. <laughs> it's just a joke, chill out. Here, I'll call the last number now. 
It's a waste of time going to sleep. After Anne-Marie laid on her sleeping mug, we heard a loud noise coming from the garden and suddenly all the lights went off. Boom, boom. What was that? I can have a nice night of sleep. No, wait, that's some spooky shit. I ain't sleeping until we saw this. Let's calm down, girls. I think it's best to go check out what it was. Who knows, we might stay without lights this till morning. And that would be a shame. Oh damn, you're right, no Wi-Fi, that's terrifying! Am I weird for not using Wi-Fi at all? At least at home. Probably not, because my internet on the phone is free, so... <laughs> no, I pretty much... It's not free, but I have unlimited data, so... So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I can pretty much be you know, on the data all time, all the time, and, you know, it's all right. Anyway. Oh, damn, you're right. No wifi, that's terrifying. Again, which one was Anmari? It was the middle one, right? Hi. Amanda was the left one. I agree. I'll go outside and check it. I can go with you. I can go too. Come on, you were you were shitting your pants just a second ago. E Alice will okay. Which one was Alice? No. Ugh. Fuck. I think only one person should go with Andy. It will be fun here. Choose Amanda. Pick Alex. I don't like Alex. Amanda seems like the most. All right, from the bunch still. And again, the rumor about her. It was just organizing parties, so let's go Amanda. I like her more. Let's get out to have some space as well. I think I'll go with Amanda. She's taller than you, Alex. She can move faster as well. So she can help me change the lamp if that's the case. And if it's someone like a horror movie, she's, well, faster. <sighs> then again, you know, taking Alex would be a bad idea, a good idea if it was like a uh, murderer or whatever, right? Because we could use her as a bait, leave her and run ourselves. Anyway. Oh, oh, okay, you two take care. Also, I don't like you, Alex, so <laughs> there's that. Amanda and I left the house by the pool's door. We soon were in the garden, but we couldn't identify the source of the noise. Hmm. The other houses don't seem to have been affected by the blackout. I think this is a problem at your house then. We can check the house's generator. I think this way will fix this problem. Oh yay! Also we thank for that. You know she doesn't tell anyone, but she's terrified of the dark. Huh? I couldn't tell. Really? Have you not seen her face expression? Was it that dark? She always looks so brave and mature. No, she's not mature at all. No, 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 no. I question if she truly is the same age as me. Okay. How is forcing your way into someone's house to organize a party mature? What is wrong with you, Andy? Even for it's your surname. Anderson, right? What was her first name? I don't even remember. <laughs> anyway. She's a tough bean, but in reality she's emotional too. But post your sister did about us affected her a lot. Even though there was nothing written about her? Interesting. More than the rest of us, but she won't express it the way Amari did. Have you tried talking? Oh yeah, what's the good idea to leave Amber behind? Oh boy. Have you tried talking to her about it? She's blaming herself for having such us involved. Since she knows what she did to Amber wasn't nice in the... Uh, I have been getting some mean comments recently. She's the one who's helping me keep myself sane. And you are organizing only the parties. It's alright. I know. I wasn't aware of what happened. I'm sorry. 
for your issue and for what happened between her and Amber. I just tell. Uh, okay, what happened f for? I want to know. I'll just tell you that she's in the saint, but you should probably ask Amber about her classmates more often. I'm sure she'll know this are better than I do. We finally reached the generator and the fuse has been damaged, so we had to change it. Oh my god, I was what the hell was that and then read a little bit. When we were turning back home, I could hear the happy shouts of the girls inside the house for having the Wi-Fi back. Can I hear it again? Jesus Christ, I can't even tell what the hell was that. <laughs> that was not much of a happy shout, to be honest. I picked the window from near the pool and saw Amber using her phone. She was with a shy smile. I wonder what happened while I was away. As soon as we placed our feedback in the living room, it happened. Someone was calling Amber. She picked up the call. But the answer was completely different from what we imagined. We heard some incomprehensible noises coming from the other side of the call. I thought maybe their phone signal was bad and they were trying to say something, but we didn't understand. Who is it? <laughs> Amber turned her phone to us and showed the screen. There it was, the number. It was her number neighbor. Oh, what? But, but, but you, you didn't call them, right? I didn't. I wonder why he called me just now. Is this some kind of joke or really creepy coincidence? Maybe you called them by accident and I got your number? You said I could chat with your number neighbor. Hand me your phone. Alex sounded angry. She didn't like the joke or whatever this was. She had that overprotective aura. Maybe she thought it could be a perv that was spying on us. I mean, definitely wouldn't spy on Alex. Unless... He's into... <clears throat> Never mind. Hey, whoever you are, space with us and tell us your name! A couple of seconds later after that, they hung up. The girl stared at Alex, not knowing how to react to that. When they stared at Amber, she seemed uneasy. It didn't take long till she stood up and left the room. She didn't say anything, she just grabbed her phone and left. Eh? What's wrong with her? I know, I think she's just upset. Hey Andy, tell Amber to lock this number, okay? Oh, and thank Amber for me, right? I appreciate that she tried to help me out with the number neighbor thing, right? Yeah. Alex whispered to me. I was glad that they were worried about Amber. Maybe soon all the drama would go away. Hopefully not. Ho hopefully something will happen. After all, we were one step closer to becoming part of the A-plus squad. Why would you want to be there still? I saw all of them getting ready to sleep and I could imagine us doing this often. They weren't so bad and... Actually, no, you know what? They weren't so bad in our environment, at least. Again, for that one that is uh, cheating... I don't like her. I wouldn't want to be her friend. Definitely not. They weren't so bad and since it made Alex happy, it was a good thing. I don't care about Alex as well, because she does what I hate people do. Some people do, like... Okay, maybe not doing the way I... <sighs> she forced her way into our, our house to make a party. I don't like that. I hate that. I hate that. Anyway. Even though it's not a party, but, you know, whatever. But the call and the blackout made me feel anxious. I didn't want to let paranoia ruin the fun for me, but apparently it wasn't just me. All the girls were quiet and soon they went to sleep. I was left awake by myself in the living room while staring at the ceiling. I decided to rest when the clock reached 4 a.m. Ah, uh, well, that's when I'm going to sleep as well. But someone was still awake. I had no idea what Amber was doing, but I could hear her voice all night long. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? You could hear her all... No what? I don't know. Anywho, uh, let's end the episode here and we'll continue tomorrow. 
I hope for something horrorish to happen. And well, that was a little underwhelming. We'll see, for we'll see. Maybe there's still more to it. Uh, for now, ho hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, consider liking. That would be appreciated. Uh, have you tried? Oh, you can tell me. Have you tried calling your supposed phone number neighbor? I never did, and I know I never will. Why would I? No thanks. I don't see a reason to do something like that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, there will be more of that. Of Tied by Numbers and of other games, of course. And there's also Instagram, Twitter and Twitch to which you can go if you want. And that's about it. We'll see where this is going. I really hope for something horrorish to happen still. Uh, but we'll see. For now, have a wonderful day and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye.